Hi, thanks for watching our CAMEC support video on checked integration with the CAMEC Hub. There's a few things that you're going to want to have in place before picking up where this video starts. One is that you're a CAMEC Pro dealer, you have a CAMEC Hub, you've set that hub up with an owner account, and you've added at least one camera that's on Viv based. On the check side, you have access to the check dealer portal, you have a checked gateway, you've added the gateway you've set up a customer and you have site information uh, set up. That's where this video is going to pick up where we show the integration between the two. It also assumes that you've got some general knowledge about how CAMEC works and how Checked works. So let's go ahead and get started. As you can see I'm in the customer tab. I'm going to choose this customer under site devices it lists information for the site. The site is called Doug's House. I'm going to need three pieces of information that are going to get brought over onto the CAMEX side, so let's get those now. First thing is what's my IP address of my checked gateway? It's right here, 192.168.0.28. I'm going to write that down. I'm going to click the gear icon. I'm going to go to tools, and I want to enable down here at the bottom my API. I'm going to generate a new key, and I will click copy. Now it's in my clipboard. I'm going to verify that the default port of 30003 actually is what it is, or you can change it, but then that's going to be the new port for your hub. I'm going to leave it where it's at. All right, now that I have that information, I want to add a camera. There's a couple of places you can do that. One is I can click Add a Camera up here, or I can click the gear icon. I'm going to do it here. Go to Channels. I'm going to use the first input, channel 1, for my first camera. It's going to go out and look for it automatically. I can actually click here and add it manually if I like. It has found an Amcrest camera. I'm going to click on it. It's on Viv based. shows my IP address and the port, but I do need to log into it. Now it's going to go and see if it can authenticate. Once it does, it's going to grab a screenshot. So I can see that it has, and we should see a screenshot of that camera. There it is. I'm going to click Next. I'm going to give it a description just so I know which one this is. And this is my test camera. And we're doing Zone 1. It's our first zone, and that's where we'll put our cameras on. Down below, you can select Zone Types. And this is something you're probably familiar with. This is where you can set an entry exit zone. So if there's a camera that you don't want to trigger immediately, it has different parameters, so it gives you a time delay. Instant zone, exterior, follower zones. We're going to leave it right now just as an instant zone. Also down here under alarm source, um, you have digital inputs, which both uh, analytic messages and contact uh, closure digital messages will work uh, using this. Um, this is for also on Viv base messages. And just for the point of showing you that you can switch, I'm going to set it over here. This one will actually do both. We'll hit finish. And now it's going to go through the process of checking and verifying. We call this mounting the camera. So it should go relatively quick until we get down to the bottom where it can take up to a minute to do that final uh, bridge performance check. So we're just going to give it time to go through, check all of its different parameters. There's one thing that I wanted to point out again is when we added the camera, we put it on channel one, we're going to need to make sure that we add the same camera on the check side um, or on the CAMEX side. We need to add that using channel one. They're going to be a one-to-one -one ratio. And when I add my second camera in checked, and then I go into CAMEC, that's going to be channel two. So those numbers need to match. And I'll show you a little more about that when I go over onto the CAMEC side. Like I mentioned, this might take up to a minute to go through and check the bridge performance. It does that each time you add a camera. And it makes sure that when it finally mounts, that it's uh, communicating well and you should be able to get alerts from it. 
once it completes this process, we're still going to have about another 12% to finish on the next page. So I'll show you what I mean once this finishes. All right, it's complete. I'm going to hit close. Now you'll see it says offline. You don't need to worry about that. Um, all we need to do is just close this down. And right here it's going to pick up, like I said, to finish that last 12%. Once it does, this camera will say online. Here I can review. This camera is at input 1, zone 1. I'm going to use the same exact information for this camera on my Camex side. When I am doing the integration, I'm going to make the camera input 1, zone 1. So just take note of it. Once this camera is fully mounted and says online, we'll be able to go over to the Camex side now and add the information that we noted. I could probably go over there now and do it, but I want to have this video show you going through the complete process. Now it's online, and now we can move over to the Camex side. For Camex, we're going to go to home.camex.com slash v2, and that's our version 2, which is the one that has the checked integration um, firmware. You can see here's that camera that we were referring to before. On the Camex side, I called it Test Check Cam. Now I'm going to go to the gear icon here. I want to go to Alerts. And then I want to add monitoring. Let me point out one thing first. Right next to the hub that you added, you should have a P, which means you had a pro account when you set up the hub, and it will have the pro capabilities, which is the monitoring. Otherwise, you won't see it and then you'll have to contact us. So we'll go back to alerts. I want to add monitoring. I'm going to choose checked. And I'm going to type in the information in the format that it shows in the watermark. So we're at 192.168.0.28 and then colon 30,003. And remember that API key, I put it on the clipboard so I can simply paste it here. And now I need to add a camera. It's going to go out and look for onviv based cameras. And there's that test cam. It's the same one that I pulled in before. Here's where I need to have these match. It's going to be channel one, zone one. OK. Now I'm going to save right now and then come back to it. That way I don't forget. If you do just do a test and you get out, it'll all be gone. You want to make sure to hit save. Now let's test. And we had a successful test. I can click OK. Once again, you can save out of both of these. I can go back over to the check side. And now I want to go to the monitoring portal. And I want to see if that alert came in. It's opening up. I have a window. 20 seconds ago, I just got an alert. If I click on the alert, it'll pop up a window. Right now, it doesn't have any graphics on it because nobody walked in front of the camera. I'm just digitally sending this um, little watermark screen to show that an alert came through. And if I was over on the Camex side again, and I went into alerts, and I did another test, and it was successful. I can go over and now you see I have another alert that came in a few seconds ago. And that's it. That's the checked integration. Hope you found this video helpful. Please reach out to support at camac.com if you have any questions about Camac.